Are any of you suffering from alpha gal syndrome? And by that, I do not mean, are you a boss babe who's a real go-getter in a man's world? I am asking, <laughs> have you perhaps been bitten by one of these buggers, the Lone Star Tick, that infects you with alpha gal syndrome, a disease that makes you allergic to red meat? Because that, that would be hell on yeah. earth for me. Well, someone I'm just done. died from it just recently. Mm -hmm. But there's uh, there's some really interesting stuff with ticks. I was privy to some footage, my friend, the uh -huh. producer. Um, and there's a book that was written called Bitten. Uh, it's about how Lyme disease was in the 1950s to 1975 uh, orchestrated by the government. There was a guy who a scientist who worked for the government and was running on, you know, putting pathogens into ticks to see if they could spread them. And before he died, well, right when he died, they found this woman who knew him, a journalist, found uh, a, like a bunch of books on his desk. And one of them was a letter saying, I always uh, wish that someone would do something until I realized I was someone and left a whole trail of evidence showing how the government was bioengineering ticks through his experiments to try and spread disease as a bioweapon. Uh, and, and not spread disease to become allergic to red meat to save the earth from meat eating or just to spread no, disease? No, no. It was more Lyme, which was going to be an actual, but this is the same concept mm -hmm. because things evolve over time. So, so let's, let's back up and look at what this is because last week we just got the first known case of someone who died from alpha-gal syndrome. It's a tick-borne allergy that triggers life-threatening reactions to red meat. The victim, a 47-year-old New Jersey man, an otherwise healthy airline pilot, collapsed and died just hours after eating a hamburger. Shut up. Oh. Only two weeks earlier, he had suffered a nearly identical but non-fatal episode after eating steak on a camping trip, waking up in the night with violent abdominal pain, diarrhea, and vomiting. Uh, the time he had told his son he thought he was going to die from how bad it was, he eventually recovered. The hamburger at a backyard barbecue killed him. Alpha-gal syndrome begins when a tick, specifically the Lone Star tick, is what they found it Lone in. Lone Star. And the the <laughs> Lone Star tick is spreading aggressively. Coincidence, I think yeah. not. Begins when the tick injects alpha gal into the bloodstream during a bite, sensitizing the immune system. Weeks or months later, eating beef, pork, lamb, venison, or even dairy products can set off reactions ranging from hives and nausea to life threatening anaphylaxis, often delayed by two to six hours, making the cause hard to recognize. Uh, while it's always been theorized that this could potentially be fatal, this case marks the first documented death. And it gets even worse than that because it can also be triggered by contact with leather or with certain other substances that use animal you, products. It you, basically makes your body unable to process a sugar that is present in most forms of meat. You've just added a fear to my list now that now trumps that is, AIDS. Mm -hmm. like, it's crazy. If I ever got this thing, I will order the most beautiful A5 Kobe beef. Like I will go back to drinking, get the most beautiful bottle of whiskey, and just sit there and and take myself out with a big beautiful but, steak. Well, you that's no, but no, you gotta wonder. There's no way to live. No, but like, the, the death from it is gonna be. You'd have to eat. Well, the anaphylaxis steak. is terrible. But one of the interesting things is why is it if they've always assumed it could become fatal, but there haven't been any cases that were fatal. Well, now why it, now are we suddenly seeing an uptick in the amount of people who have it? And uh, more severe cases. You know, you, usually you won't see anaphylaxis on a first-time reaction. You'll rarely see it on a second-time reaction. So you're highly, highly, highly allergic. Allergies grow over time. This is uh, an extreme response. Oh, teacher, I got an answer. Weakened immune system from multiple jibby jabs over mm. the course of many that years. Could be yeah. something. The CDC yeah. estimates that while 110,000 cases were identified between 2010 and 2022, as many as 450,000 may be living with the allergy, although undiagnosed. Mostly because most healthcare providers have actually never heard of it. Same with Lyme disease. The Lone Star Ticks range has rapidly expanded from the southeast into the mid-Atlantic, midwest, and even parts of the northeast, driven by deer populations and changing environmental conditions. And you have to wonder, much like Lyme disease that seems to have at least had some sort of origin in a lab... Are we being engineered by the powers that be that don't want us eating red meat in the first place? Here's a uh, World Economic Forum linked bioethicist Ooh. a few years back talking about precisely this. So I'll give two examples. So one is that uh, people eat too much meat, right? And if they were to cut down on their consumption on meat, then they would, uh, it would actually really help the planet. Uh, but people are not willing to give up meat. Yeah, you know, some people will be willing to, but other people, they may be willing to, but they sort of, they have a weakness of will. They say, wow, this, this steak is just too juicy. I can't do it. I, I'm one of those, by the way. So, you know, but so here's the thought, right? So it turns out that we know a lot about, so there, we have these intolerance 
to, uh, so I, for example, I have milk intolerance. Um, uh, and there are some people are intolerant to crayfish. So possibly we can use hu human engineering to make it the case that we're intolerant to certain kinds of meat, to certain what? kinds of bovine, uh, bovine that, man, proteins. And, and there's actually analogs of this in life. There's this thing called the long star tick, where if it bites you, you will this become allergic great. to meat. Uh, I can sort of describe the mechanism. So that's something that we can do through human engineering. We can kind of uh, ad possibly address really big world problems through human engineering. Another they, that clip was from 2016. So this guy is a uh, NYU bioethicist named Matthew Lau. And in 2016, was sitting down and saying, oh, the Lone Star Tick and Alpha-Gal Syndrome, we could potentially engineer human beings to not be able to consume meat. He's, of course... This is crazy. The world if he economy. rounded up... Nope. Uh, if I was the head of it, yeah, I... I will know have crazy? Well, under custody. They tell you the thing they are going to do. There is something... Uh, every time these things, you go back a year and you're like, the guy was telling you to your face what he was going to do. That's terrorism. It could not be more clear. This is... And I really... I have a strong, strong belief that the government has has been since the 50s using ticks, insects. Uh, there's a case, this is so random, this is someone I grew up with, his dad recently just died. They couldn't figure out how he died. They found out two weeks later it was like West Nile. It's like, so they, there's all these spreads of new illnesses that are becoming more, maybe because of the jab, weakened immune system, but becoming more prominent, weirder reactions that we haven't seen Jeez. before. And now you're seeing on camera. They're, they're, they're admitting to it. Uh, yeah, I was being half serious, but I mean, about the jibby jab, but... Um, no, I, I think it's very possible. Bringing it back all the way to the beginning. I mean, there's only one solution to this. You've got to kill all deer. You've got to kill all cattle. And uh, for the to, to prevent the spread of that tick, which would Mm. That, that is, I have no doubt that that is what they intended to do. That's what they're trying to experiment with. Like they were trying to inject the mosquitoes with potential uh, vaccines so that people get vaccinated without their knowledge. But I, yeah, I can think of nothing more hell on earth than being allergic to meat or allergic to martinis or allergic to coffee or energy drinks. Like if you, you lose the ability to enjoy a nice steak, that man belongs in jail. I'm going I'm to remember that. What's his name? Uh, Matthew Lau. Matt, how do you and, spell it? L-A-U? And L-I-A-O. And, wow. and my you bi bioethicist S. Matthew Lau. This is just one of the fronts of the war against meat. I'm coining the mm -hmm. term. Uh, a pound of ground beef, like they just the news came out of Monday, might hit ten dollars. A pound of ground beef might hit ten dollars. Like it's it, this is insane. They economically every time harder. They have a war against farmers everywhere. It's a war against farmers. Uh -huh. You know, hundred percent. And they're now right. they're they're bioengineering ways to wean off people like to make people don't eat meat so uh i don't know i like this a lot uh, i didn't like this at all the yeah. cricket videos are very weird they're like oh you're gonna love crickets they take like all the hollywood celebrities did you guys see that montage yeah. that yeah. to me i'm like i'm not eating crickets. they, they don't I want you to eat a cricket crickets before before covid they, they, you know they, it tastes like chips i mean it's yeah, dry flavor they, they, they don't want you off of they don't want you to just crunch on like a whole cricket they're putting cricket flour in foods they're using Bug byproducts. Yeah, roach milk. Roach milk to make very. How do you milk a roach? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's, okay, that's, <laughs> no, um, so yeah, it, it's it's so on the nose. It's so perfect in a in line with their agenda that you. It's event. It's you, event two hundred one. Can't help but wonder. What was the event that they ran in twenty nineteen before COVID? It was Agenda twenty thirty. Uh, something. Or? No, no, no. It's not Agenda. They, they ran event whatever it was, which would re which replicated a, a mass spreading virus and how you would have to like do everything they did during COVID mm -hmm. the year before COVID. And then Bill Gates invested a bunch of money, not only in pandemic preparedness <laughs> stuff, but also researching, like we said, the vaccine mosquitoes and other insect applications for Bill bioengineering. Gates. Bill Gates, the man who Jeffrey Epstein tried to blackmail oh. once upon a time. Hmm. Hmm. Funny how that works. So if you like this clip, click right here. And if you want to see more like it, click right here. Stay angry, patriots.